In Europe, it's called the Renault 9. Here in the U.S., it's called the Renault Alliance, the first child to come from the marriage of American Motors to Renault. You can make a lot of cracks about Franco-American Motors, but this one seems to be a winner. Made in America, it competes against Chevette, Escort, and Mazda. We're hoping to sell 100,000 for the first year of production. We have already doubled the daily line rate from 300 a day to 600 a day based upon dealer orders. And the reasons why people like the car are many like the pedestal track seats. They go backwards and forwards. The seat back reclines and the whole seat rocks. In fact, it would be almost impossible not to find a comfortable position. And the pedestal track has other benefits. Best of all, though, is the price. The base two-door model is $5,600. The base four-door goes for $6,300. One of the reasons the Alliance base price is as low as it is because almost everything under the hood came from France. The engine and the transmission are all French and shipped here. But with the Auto Workers Union making noises about restricting foreign content, is that a problem? So this particular car is currently sourced in the United States with 70% of its content. By the end of the year, it'll be approaching almost 80%. It looks like the Alliance, both the car and the AMC Renault link-up, are going to be winners. Ed Martel, Channel 5 Action News.